C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 7 chapter 2 fractions and decimals page 36 exercise 2.2 2. 1 which of the drawings a to d show 1 2 multiplied by 1 upon 5 2 2 multiplied by 1 upon 2 3 3 multiplied by 2 upon 3 4 3 multiplied by 1 upon 4 Next, we have the four drawings A, B, C and D A. Here, three circles are given each of which are two-third shaded B. Here, two rectangles are given, each of which are half shaded. C. Here, three squares are given, each of which are one-fourth shaded. D. Here, two squares are given, each of which are one-fifth shaded. 2. Some pictures A to C are given below. Tell which of them show 1. 3 multiplied by 1 upon 5 is equal to 3 upon 5. 2. 2 multiplied by 1 upon 3 is equal to 2 upon 3. 3. 3 multiplied by 3 upon 4 is equal to 2 1 upon 4. Next, we have the drawings A, B and C. A. Here, two circles are given, each of which are one-third shaded and are combined to give a circle which is two-third shaded. B. Here, three triangles are given, each of which are three-fourth shaded and are combined to give two triangles which are completely shaded and one triangle which is one-fourth shaded. C. Here, three rectangles are given, each of which is one-fifth shaded and are combined to give a rectangle which is three-fifth shaded. 3. Multiply and reduce to lowest form and convert into a mixed fraction. 1. 7 multiplied by 3 upon 5. 2. 4 multiplied by 1 upon 3. 3. 2 multiplied by 6 upon 7. 4. 5 multiplied by 2 upon 9. 5. 2 upon 3 multiplied by 4. 6. 5 upon 2 multiplied by 6. 7. 11 multiplied by 4 upon 7. 8. 20 multiplied by 4 upon 5. 9. 13 multiplied by 1 upon 3. 10. 15 multiplied by 3 upon 5. Page 37. 4. Shade. 1. 1 upon 2 of the circles in box A. 2. 2 upon 3 of the triangles in box B. 3. 3 upon 5 of the squares in box C. Next, we have the boxes A, B and C. A. Here, a square is given which contains 12 circles. B. Here, a square is given which contains 9 triangles. C. Here, a rectangle is given which contains 15 small squares in it. 5. Find A. 1 upon 2 of 1, 24, 2, 46. B. 2 upon 3 of 1, 18, 2, 27. C. 3 upon 4 of 1, 16, 2, 36. D. 4 upon 5 of 1, 20, 
two thirty five six multiply and express as a mixed fraction a three multiplied by five one upon five b five multiplied by six three upon four c seven multiplied by 2 1 upon 4 d 4 multiplied by 6 1 upon 3 e 3 1 upon 4 multiplied by 6 f 3 2 upon 5 multiplied by 8 7 find a 1 upon 2 of 1, 2, 3 upon 4, 2, 4, 2 upon 9. B. 5 upon 8 of 1, 3, 5 upon 6, 2, 9, 2 upon 3. 8. Vidya and Pratap went for a picnic. Their mother gave them a water bottle that contained five liters of water. Vidya consumed two upon five of the water. Pratap consumed the remaining water. 1. How much water did Vidya drink? 2. What fraction of the total quantity of water did Pratap drink? 2.3.2 .2. Multiplication of a fraction by a fraction Farida had a 9 cm long strip of ribbon. She cut this strip into four equal parts. How did she do it? She folded the strip twice. What fraction of the total length will each part represent? Each part will be 9 upon 4 of the strip. She took one part and divided it in two equal parts by folding the part once. Page 38 What will one of the pieces represent? It will represent 1 upon 2 of 9 upon 4 or 1 upon 2 multiplied by 9 upon 4. Let us now see how to find the product of two fractions like 1 upon 2 multiplied by 9 upon 4. To do this, we first learn to find the products like 1 upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon 3. A. How do we find 1 upon 3 of a whole? We divide the whole in three equal parts. Each of the three parts represents 1 upon 3 of the whole. Take one part of these three parts and shade it as shown in figure 2.8. Figure 2.8 In this figure, a circle is given which is one-third shaded. B. How will you find one upon two of this shaded part? Divide this one-third, that is, one upon three shaded part into two equal parts. Each of these two parts represents one upon two of one upon three, that is, 1 upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon 3. Figure 2.9 Figure 2.9 In this figure, a circle is given which is one-third shaded and that one-third shaded part is divided into two parts. Take out one part of these two and name it A. A represents 1 upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon 3. C. What fraction is A of the whole? For this, 
divide each of the remaining one third parts also in two equal parts. How many such equal parts do you have now? There are six such equal parts. A is one of these parts. So, A is one sixth of the whole. Thus, 1 upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon 3 is equal to 1 upon 6. How did we decide that A was one sixth of the whole? The whole was divided in 6 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 parts and 1 is equal to 1 multiplied by 1 part was taken out of it. Thus, 1 upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon 3 is equal to 1 upon 6, which is equal to 1 multiplied by 1 upon 2 multiplied by 3. Or, 1 upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon 3 is equal to 1 multiplied by 1 upon 2 multiplied by 3. Page 39 the value of 1 upon 3 multiplied by 1 upon 2 can be found in a similar way. Divide the whole into two equal parts and then divide one of these parts in three equal parts. Take one of these parts. This will represent 1 upon 3 multiplied by 1 upon 2, that is 1 upon 6. Therefore, 1 upon 3 multiplied by 1 upon 2 is equal to 1 upon 6, which is equal to 1 multiplied by 1 upon 3 multiplied by 2, as discussed earlier. Hence, 1 upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon 3 is equal to 1 upon 3 multiplied by 1 upon 2, which is equal to 1 upon 6. Find 1 upon 3 multiplied by 1 upon 4 and 1 upon 4 multiplied by 1 upon 3. 1 upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon 5 and 1 upon 5 multiplied by 1 upon 2. And check whether you get 1 upon 3 multiplied by 1 upon 4 is equal to 1 upon 4 multiplied by 1 upon 3. 1 upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon 5 is equal to 1 upon 5 multiplied by 1 upon 2. Try these. Fill in these boxes. 1. 1 upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon 7 is equal to 1 multiplied by 1 upon 2 multiplied by 7, which is equal to dash. 2. 1 upon 5 multiplied by 1 upon 7 is equal to dash is equal to dash. 3. 1 upon 7 multiplied by 1 upon 2 is equal to dash which is equal to dash. 4. 1 upon 7 multiplied by 1 upon 5 is equal to dash, which is equal to dash. Example 6. Sushant reads one third part of a book in one hour. How much part of the book will he read in? Two one upon five hours. Solution The part of the book read by Sushant in one hour is equal to one upon three. So, the part of the book read by him in two one upon five hours is equal to two one upon five multiplied by one upon three, which is equal to eleven upon five multiplied by 1 upon 3, which is equal to 11 multiplied by 1 upon 5 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 11 upon 15. Let us now find 
1 upon 2 multiplied by 5 upon 3. We know that 5 upon 3 is equal to 1 upon 3 multiplied by 5. So, 1 upon 2 multiplied by 5 upon 3 is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon 3 multiplied by 5, which is equal to 1 upon 6 multiplied by 5, which is equal to 5 upon 6. Page 40. Also, 5 upon 6 is equal to 1 multiplied by 5 upon 2 multiplied by 3. Thus, 1 upon 2 multiplied by 5 upon 3 is equal to 1 multiplied by 5 upon 2 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 5 upon 6. This is also shown by the figures drawn below. Each of these five equal shapes, figure 2.10, are parts of five similar circles. Take one such shape. To obtain this shape, we first divide a circle in three equal parts. Further, divide each of these three parts in two equal parts. One part out of it is the shape we considered. What will it represent? It will represent 1 upon 2 multiplied by 1 upon 3, which is equal to 1 upon 6. The total of such parts would be 5 multiplied by 1 upon 6, which is equal to 5 upon 6. Figure 2.10 In this figure, each one-third shaded part of five different circles are again being divided into two parts to show 5 multiplied by 1 upon 6 equal to 5 upon 6. Similarly, 3 upon 5 multiplied by 1 upon 7 is equal to 3 multiplied by 1 upon 5 multiplied by 7, which is equal to 3 upon 35. We can thus find 2 upon 3 multiplied by 7 upon 5 as 2 upon 3 multiplied by 7 upon 5 is equal to 2 multiplied by 7 upon 3 multiplied by 5, which is equal to 14 multiplied by 15. So, we find that we multiply two fractions as product of numerators upon product of denominators. Try these. Find 1 upon 3 multiplied by 4 upon 5, 2 upon 3 multiplied by 1 upon 5. Try these. Find 8 upon 3 multiplied by 4 upon 7. 3 upon 4 multiplied by 2 upon 3. Value of the products. You have seen that the product of two whole numbers is bigger than each of the two whole numbers. For example, 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12 and 12 is greater than 4, 12 is greater than 3. What happens to the value of the product when we multiply two fractions? Let us first consider the product of two proper fractions. We have 2 upon 3 multiplied by 4 upon 5 is equal to 8 upon 15. 8 upon 15 is less than 2 upon 3. 8 upon 15 is less than 4 upon 5. Product is less than each of the fractions. 1 upon 5 multiplied by 2 upon 7 is equal to dash, 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 dash. 3 upon 5 multiplied by dash upon 8 is equal to dash, 
dash 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 two upon dash multiplied by four upon nine is equal to eight upon forty five dash 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 page forty one you will find that when two proper fractions are multiplied, the product is less than each of the fractions. Or, we say the value of the product of two proper fractions is smaller than each of the two fractions. Check this by constructing five more examples. Let us now multiply two improper fractions. 7 upon 3 multiplied by 5 upon 2 is equal to 35 upon 6. 35 upon 6 is greater than 7 upon 3. 35 upon 6 is greater than 5 upon 2. Product is greater than each of the fractions. 6 upon 5 multiplied by dash upon 3 is equal to 24 upon 15 dash 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 9 upon 2 multiplied by 7 upon dash is equal to 63 upon 8 dash 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 3 upon dash multiplied by 8 upon 7 is equal to 24 upon 14 dash 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 we find that the product of two improper fractions is greater than each of the two fractions or the value of the product of two improper fractions is more than each of the two fractions. Construct five more examples for yourself and verify the above statement. Let us now multiply a proper and an improper fraction, say 2 upon 3 and 7 upon 5. We have 2 upon 3 multiplied by 7 upon 5 is equal to 14 upon 15. Here, 14 upon 15 is less than 7 upon 5 and 14 upon 15 is greater than 2 upon 3. The product obtained is less than the improper fraction and greater than the proper fraction involved in the multiplication. Check it for 6 upon 5 multiplied by 2 upon 8. 8 upon 3 multiplied by 4 upon 5. Exercise 2.3 1. Find 1. 1 upon 4 of A. 1 upon 4 B. 3 upon 5 C. 4 upon 3 2 1 upon 7 of a 2 upon 9 b 6 upon 5 c 3 upon 10 page 42 2 multiply and reduce to lowest form if possible 1 2 upon 3 multiplied by 2, 2 upon 3. 2. 2 upon 7 multiplied by 7 upon 9. 3. 3 upon 8 multiplied by 6 upon 4. 4. 9 upon 5 multiplied by 3 upon 5. 5. 1 upon 3 multiplied by 15 upon 8. 6. 
11 upon 2 multiplied by 3 upon 10. 7. 4 upon 5 multiplied by 12 upon 7. 3. Multiply the following fractions. 1. 2 upon 5 multiplied by 5 1 upon 4. 2. 6 2 upon 5 multiplied by 7 upon 9. 3. 3 upon 2 multiplied by 5 1 upon 3. 4. 5 upon 6 multiplied by 2 3 upon 7. 5. 3 2 upon 5 multiplied by 4 upon 7. 6. 2 3 upon 5 multiplied by 3. 7. 3 4 upon 7 multiplied by 3 upon 5. 4. Which is greater? 1. 2 upon 7 of 3 upon 4 or 3 upon 5 of 5 upon 8. 2. 1 upon 2 of 6 upon 7 or 2 upon 3 of 3 upon 7. 5. Sally plants four saplings in a row in her garden. The distance between two adjacent saplings is 3 upon 4 meters. Find the distance between the first and the last sapling. 6. Lipika reads a book for 1, 3 upon 4 hours every day. She reads the entire book in 6 days. How many hours in all were required by her to read the book? 7. A car runs 16 kilometers using 1 liter of petrol. How much distance will it cover using 2, 3 upon 4 liters of petrol? 8. A. 1. Provide the number in the box such that 2 upon 3 multiplied by dash is equal to 10 upon 30. 2. The simplest form of the number obtained in dash is dash. B. 1. Provide the number in the box such that 3 upon 5 multiplied by dash is equal to 24 upon 75. 2. The simplest form of the number obtained in dash is dash. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator God of Marva Assistance in Production Samya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India